So run one of St. Neit's half marathon training. Going to be following the Stride half marathon training plan. Stride's a little power meter that I'll talk about a little bit more later. Uh, but for now, I need to go and do about a seven mile run. And I'm going to be following the Stride plan for this. So let's set it up on the Garmin. the start of the run to keep in power below 202 for really just a nice gentle warm up probably works out to be about 11:30 pace so because i've been sticking to the pace religiously maybe set off the park run just a little bit late i think i'm going to get to the start of the course maybe just after they've started but within a minute or two Welcome to Lecture Park Run. Uh, what happens is they do the reef briefing just by that skateboard there. And then you actually have to walk down the hill to the start. And everyone's sort of queuing to get through a little funnel onto the single path down to the start. So I think I'm actually going to make the start. Uh, all right, Lecture Park Run. It'll be super interesting to see what happens today with this power meter and the hill. I'm obviously running at a very gentle pace and there's a steep hill twice on this course and uh, I've got a feeling I might even need to walk sections of it in order to get the power meter down. <laughs> Big hill just started, and the power's already way above. Thank you. 
Training one of St. Nate's half marathon done. Uh, it turned out to be about 6.9 miles in an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, basically, it was keeping the wattage really low, so uh, the numbers don't really mean anything, but apparently my critical power is 253 watts, and today the idea was to keep it below 207 throughout. Uh, <clears throat> with the hills on Letchworth Park Run, etc., I guess that turned out to be about 12 minute mile in. I'd be surprised if I've done anything less than 36 minutes at Park Run this morning. Uh, and then after that, it was sort of more of the same, but just at the end, there was some sort of small intervals, uh, 253 to 270 watts, which I guess is sort of target half marathon sort of wattage and pace at the moment. Uh, really, really struggled with those. There's five of them with two minutes sort of recovery afterwards. I have to say, I ended up walking the recovery. So they're all five sort of intervals, but I did walk the recoveries rather than doing a gentle sort of jog. And then there was a six minute cool down. And I have to say, it's so hot today and struggling so much with the running. I only did two minutes of the cool down. So I cut it a little bit short. But anyway, that's just shy of seven miles in the bank. And uh, St. Neas half training is well underway. I'll do a bit more around this particular blog, around Letchworth Park Run, uh, about Stride, the Stride membership, the power uh, meter, and how I'm using it with my Garmin, etc. And uh, it'll be interesting to see where the next 11 weeks go ahead of St. Neat's Marathon. Gonna try and try stick to this training plan as closely as I possibly can, stick to the numbers, etc. And uh, we'll just see where it goes. So at the moment, I think it's predicting a race wattage of it's either 233 or 253 i'll have to have a little look at that uh and i'll post that details up anyway uh, in the video that surrounds this one so see you later so now i'm back home and i've watched the video from this morning first thing that's shown through is my inability to talk coherent sentences uh whilst running or after running etc uh so let's see if i can summarize what happened this morning this morning I went for my first ever run with uh, the stride power meter. I've been running with it for a while, but I've not followed the training plans. I've not really looked at the numbers and what I've decided to do, I've, I've got such low fitness at the moment. I'm going to follow an 11 week training plan through stride, watching the numbers uh, and I'm training for St. Neat's half, which is in the middle of November. So I've got 11 weeks essentially from this weekend to go and start training for it. I've selected the training plan, which is the level three one. It actually recommended that I go for the level two one, but the level two one has got 
a longer time. It's something like 19 weeks, and I haven't got that long. I've got 11 weeks. I've had to go for level three. It's warned me against doing that, so we'll see where we go. And then I'm going to combine it with three gym sessions a week. So four runs and three gym sessions. I'm going to try and nail the runs, the gym. I'm happy to let slide, etc. I'll, I'll aim to go three times a week, but fall back to two times a week if something needs to give due to other commitments. At the moment, for St. Neat's Half, it's recommending a 233 wattage. Now, the wattages don't really matter. They're a number that's unique to me. I'm, you know, it's not a competition to have different wattage numbers. And it's sort of estimating that on a probably flat course, that would be about 10 minute mile in. I think it's predicting a race time of about 213, something like that. Uh, previously, not for a long time. I've run a 142 half marathon generally dip under the two hour mark even when not being fully fit etc so 210 at the moment uh, feels within my comfort zones albeit I'm not very fit at the moment so I've got to sort of get that fitness back and see where it takes me this morning's run was very much uh, a park run sandwich uh, Letchworth Park Run is my local park run it's a two lap course and basically uh, the idea of this morning was 55 70 minutes at a wattage of around 207 watts maximum which was roughly about 11 minute miling on flat ground Letchworth park runs got a few hills in it uh it's quite hard to keep the power meter down i think i've averaged i've, I've come in i've seen the results i think it's just outside 36 minutes is, is where i've come so 12 minute miling on what's quite a hilly course that's probably to be expected it's really reminded me of my first days uh training with heart rate and unbelievably slow running etc but Heart rate training works really, really well for me. So I'm hoping the same goodness from Stride is going to happen as well. Uh, worth saying, just for transparency, I'm not affiliated with Stride in any way, shape or form. I've bought the device myself. They've got no idea I'm doing these recordings or this race or this, this training plan. They're not seeing anything I'm saying beforehand. So I'm just going to give an honest opinion of how it works, etc. I can see... That whilst I don't fully understand the technology etc behind it I can see that the numbers are coming alongside sort of heart rate etc so I've got confidence that, that the plan should come together looking forward to next week it's four runs I think there's two workouts I've scheduled them for Tuesday and Thursday and then there's an easy run and then a slightly longer run and I'll play about which way they fall on Saturday and Sunday of next weekend etc uh, I will try and do a bit more of an in-depth video on to Stride, the training plans, etc. It's worth saying that if you are interested in Stride, I think when you buy the device, you get the option to sign up to the optional membership, etc. and get a discounted device and pay the membership fee, etc. I've expired that area, so I've taken out the membership plan. It's cheaper on the website. If you go through the mobile app, they've just got a monthly deal, whereas on the website itself, you can buy extra months at discounted rates etc so it seems to be much more i've gone for a four month uh, membership plan that's entitled me to get the training plans and the scheduled workouts and stuff like that so we'll see where it goes